sine of x to the power of x is a function with the independent variable x in both the base and the exponent. So this is a typical function for which we would want to use logarithmic differentiation in order to take the derivative. That's exactly what we'll do to find the derivative of sine of x to the x. We begin by giving it a name. We'll call it y. So y equals sine of x to the x. Then we'll take the natural log of both sides. That's going to allow us to apply our log rules to get this x out of that exponent. So taking the natural log on both sides, we have the natural log of y on the left, and on the right, we have the natural log of sine of x to the power of x. But if the input of the log function has an exponent, you can take that exponent out as a factor. Those are just straightforward log rules. So we bring that x outside as a factor. Now we have ln y equals x times ln sine x. Now we'll take the derivative on the left side and the right side and perform implicit differentiation in order to solve for dy dx. So we're taking the derivative on the left and the derivative on the right. The derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is 1 over y times, we got to apply the chain rule here because y is a function of x, times the derivative of that inside function, so dy dx. Now remember, dy dx is what we're actually looking for here because y is sine of x to the x and we're looking for the derivative of sine of x to the x. So we're going to want to solve for this, dy dx. Now on the right side, taking the derivative of x ln sine of x, we need to apply the product rule, f prime g plus g prime f. If we say that f is x, then f prime is 1. And so f prime g is just 1 times ln of sine x. Then if we say that the natural log of sine x is g, then g prime is 1 over sine x times the derivative of that inside function sine x. The derivative of sine x is cosine x, so we multiply by cosine x. That is g prime, and then we have to multiply it by f, which of course is just x. Now here on the right, we have 1 over sine times cosine. That's the same as cosine over sine which is the reciprocal of tangent. So that's cotangent. So this is actually just cotangent of x times x. Now the last thing we have to do is multiply both sides by y. That way, on the left side, we're gonna have dy dx all by itself. So after multiplying both sides by y, on the left, we just have dy dx. On the right, we have all of this junk, same as before, but then multiplied by y. Y, of course, we know is sine of x to the x. That's why we see that there. Sine of x to the x, that's what y is. And so we found our derivative. We solved for dy dx, which is exactly what we were looking for. The derivative of sine of x to the x is the natural log of sine x plus cotangent x times x, all multiplied by sine of x to the power of x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.